Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're taking a look at another figure from the Black Series 6 inch line and this time around it is the eagerly anticipated brand new Imperial Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. This is without a doubt one of Hasbro's best attempts at an Imperial Stormtrooper figure in any scale. Um, I think this one is definitely only rivalled by the Rogue One and Remnant Stormtrooper from the Vintage Collection in terms of accuracy and sculpt and just overall bringing us a definitive Stormtrooper to our collections. This is once again uh, one of my favourite Stormtrooper figures and I think it's definitely one that you should look into picking up for yourself. If you want to add this guy to your own collection, as always, there's a link down below in the video description where you can do so. And once again, this is a highly recommended figure. Everything about this figure just ticks all the boxes. Sculpt, articulation, accessories, and proportions, I think, is probably one of the main things uh, to take away from this figure. It really does capture uh, the overall lifelike look of an Imperial Stormtrooper down to a T. And again, I'm really, really impressed with this one. So we're gonna take a look at this figure in a little bit more detail throughout this review. But before we do that, as always, let's take a look at the packaging this figure comes in. Now, obviously in terms of packaging, we do get the brand new Black Series packaging design with this figure. Um, in my opinion, this is far more visually appealing than the black and red boxes that we've been accustomed to for the past four or five years. Um, these are definitely really interesting to look at in terms of overall aesthetic. What I really love about these is the image down the side of the box, which as you can see looks really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, the artwork of Gregory Titus, which I was a massive fan of, has gone. Um, but these new illustrations are really nicely done. And what's really cool about these figures is the fact that each one uh, stands next to the other and creates a mural of characters which just looks really really cool on a shelf so even if you don't keep these figures mint in box if you want to keep the empty boxes for display purposes that's always an option which is really really cool um, each of the Star Wars movies and TV series in which these characters appear are now colour coded for the uh, for the black series so with the Mandalorian as you can see you've got this brown sort of copper color going on which extends around the edge of the figure's packaging and then on the back you have that image of the stormtrooper once again accompanied by a description of the character so really really nice packaging really nice to see these being uh, shaken up a little bit i've been clamoring for a packaging change within the black series for quite some time so this is really really nice to see and uh, it just makes hunting these figures down on pegs a lot easier as well because you can see the image down the side of the character um, without having to you know hunt through the pegs to to see the figure itself inside so really really cool packaging obviously you've got the black series logo featured at the top and uh, just slit the tape at the bottom and slide the tray out to remove the figure yeah just really really cool stuff going on in terms of packaging so with the box aside let's take a look at the figure itself and here he is, absolutely stunning figure. Once again, a great representation of the Imperial Stormtroopers. Um, as I mentioned uh, towards the beginning of the review, I think this is definitely one of Hasbro's best attempts at an Imperial Stormtrooper action figure. What they've done here is absolutely phenomenal um, in terms of not just the, uh, the overall look of the figure, but the engineering behind it as well. It just creates a really nice, natural look. And again, it's probably one of the more lifelike Stormtrooper figures we've seen from Hasbro in both three and three quarter inch and six inch scale. I'm very, very impressed with this guy and I love the screen accuracy as well. This figure just looks like it jumped right off the screen and I'm a huge, huge fan of it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the original Stormtrooper from the Black Series to show you side by side for the sake of a comparison, but I'm pretty sure at this point we've all seen the differences between those two figures. Um, and if you haven't, then it's readily available online for you. But let it be known, this is definitely, in my opinion at least, the superior Stormtrooper figure from the Black series. And as I've mentioned in previous reviews, uh, such as when I gave you a look at the Stormtrooper Commander and the Shadow Stormtrooper from the Gaming Greats line, I'm really, really upset actually um, that those figures didn't utilise this brand new sculpt because this is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is the fact that the armor feels like it is actually sitting on 
a human body. Um, it just doesn't feel like a solid sculpt of plastic. It's, you know, again, really lifelike and it just looks like it jumped right off the screen from the Mandalorian. So again, very, very impressed with the overall look of the figure. In terms of overall feel, again, very impressed. Uh, the armour has this really nice uh, glossy white finish to it. Something that I really, really like to see. The helmet itself, again, perhaps one of the most screen accurate Stormtrooper helmets we've seen in action figure form, at least from Hasbro. And again, all the proportions are just absolutely spot on with this figure. Couldn't have asked for a better Stormtrooper personally. Paint applications are nice and crisp as well for what we get. Obviously, the majority of the figure is white, um, but there's some nice painted details on the helmet. Obviously, the bodysuit underneath is painted black. Got some highlights on the thermal detonator there. Really, really cool looking indeed. Unfortunately, there's a bit of paint scuffing on my figure. But that's nothing a bit of nail nail pon let me get my words out. Nail polish remover won't solve. Again, can't get enough of that helmet. And what's really cool about this particular Stormtrooper figure, and it appears to be something that Hasbro are doing with most of their helmeted figures from here on out, is the fact that up inside the helmet, and you can't really see it all that well, uh, but rather than just being a solid sculpted piece. There is actually a human portrait underneath the helmet. Now it's unpainted, it's just a white solid piece, but then the helmet has just been glued over the top of it, which in my opinion really helps in terms of the proportions of the figure, which is something I really want to hammer home about this figure. Proportionally is definitely the best Stormtrooper I've ever seen. So really, really cool in that respect. And in terms of accessories, he does come with a standard E11 blaster rifle, which again in itself is a brand new sculpt. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Stormtrooper rifles we've seen in the Black Series so far. It's just a little bit shorter, um, but the sculpted details are all still there. As you can see, you've got the flashlight on the end of the barrel there, um, akin to the blasters used in Rogue One and the Mandalorian, and the figure holds it nicely as well. Now, the one gripe I do have about this figure. And I'm probably pretty sure this is down to screen accuracy, is the fact that the figure doesn't have a holster on the back of the belt. So if you're not displaying the blaster in the figure's hands, which more than likely you probably will be doing, um, there's nowhere to display the blaster when it's not in use, which is a little bit of a shame, um, but not a major issue for me personally. I mean, 10 times out of 10 more than likely, this figure will be standing on my shelf with blaster in hand. So it's not a major concern, um, but it would have been nice nonetheless just to have that option. Now in terms of articulation, this is another area where this figure really does shine. He features a double ball joint at the head and neck in the sense that you've got not only a ball joint in the head, but also at the base of the neck. So you get a really nice fluid range of movement there. We have hinges and butterfly joints at the shoulders. So you can get this figure in some really cool poses. As you saw earlier, I had this guy aiming his blaster rifle. And again, this looks really nice and natural just looks fantastic as part of a display. We have hinges at the elbows, as you can see. We also have hinges at the wrists, a ball joint at the torso. And what's really cool is that this armor piece here, this chest plate, is a separately sculpted piece, which is absolutely awesome. And again, really allows a nice flow of movement there. We also have hinges at the hips, swivels at the upper thigh, a hinge in the knee, and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. And what's really cool about these figures as well is the fact that there are no pins visible in any of those articulation points. So it, again, just looks really nice and natural, and again, creates one of the most lifelike Stormtroopers in the Black Series so far. So again, I'm really, really impressed with this one. I can't say enough good things about it. All I can say is if you have the opportunity to add this guy to your collection, I definitely recommend that you do so. And I'm not so much an army builder anymore, but this is definitely a figure that I'll be picking up some more of to flank Vader and some of my other Imperial figures in my collection. So again, highly recommended. Definitely pick this one up if you get the chance. And I hope you've enjoyed this review. I think I've touched base on all the details of this figure. If I haven't, leave a comment down below and let me know just what you think of this brand new Imperial Stormtrooper. 
and I'll be back with some more reviews very, very soon. I've got some really cool figures from the Black Series to give you a look at, um, plus some vintage collection figures and much more, so stay tuned for all of those. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.